It is the current year and everything is offensive and the offensive item from about three months ago was the GNU Image Manipulation Program, otherwise known as the acronym GIMP, which has been around now for about 20 years or so, so you know, it's nothing new with the naming, but obviously times have changed. So if you're an English speaker, you will realise the acronym GIMP, or the word GIMP, means something else. Oh yes, does it ever. So since the uh, makers of GIMP would not change the name, a new project has been created, or forked, which has been forked to a glimpse. The initial aim is to provide a downstream fork of that application that is less problematic. Ooh, problematic. So there are no potential barriers to using the software in business and educational institutions. This is a long-standing problem that has drawn user concern for over a decade, a couple of decades, but whenever the issue is raised, it tends to be dismissed. We do not believe the upstream's project explanation or workaround is enough to address the problem. In future versions, we intend to address our long-standing complaints, particularly around the graphical user interface. I do have to point out that GIMP is not the only open source image editor. We do, of course, have Krita, Although maybe that's problematic as well. Oh dear. I don't think that uh, anime fans are being fairly represented there. Now, in all fairness, Krita and Gimp are different alternatives to, well, what is effectively, let's say, uh, an alternative to Adobe Photoshop. Before we go charging into all this, and I'm, I'm not even going to read any news sites about this because it, it was in the news about three months ago and we're at the first release of Glimpse. So I want to take a look at what Gimp's opinion is of this and what, more specifically, one of the editors of Gimp. So Alexandri, and I'm sorry I can't pronounce that last name, but this was in the Libra Graphics World magazine from the 28th of August. So a few people have asked me for an opinion on the fork of GIMP called a Glimpse. At first I considered posting in detail about Glimpse, but then thought better of it. Here is what I can say on the matter, and since I'm a GIMP contributor, please take this with an extra bag of salt. Pinch of salt? Bag of salt? Yep. Yeah. GIMP team has been suggesting to fork it in extreme cases, such as rebranding, for years. It is perfectly fine to do so under the GNU GPL, although so far, most attempts have been unsuccessful. Contributors to Glimpse have never been GIMP contributors in the first place. They aren't known in the GIMP community, and they don't seem to have any experience programming digital content creation software, so there is no real fragmentation so far. I spent two weeks on the Glimpse communication channel to figure out if they are the real deal. There is a clear and rather disturbing difference between how Glimpse contributors and moderators claim they treat the upstream project and what they actually do and say about GIMP. This is the opposite of impressive. The mutual hostility between supporters and haters of GIMP doesn't bring us any value in the overall community. If you're among the haters of Glimpse, please consider leaving them alone and letting them give it their best shot. Likewise, you are not getting anywhere by annoying GIMP developers. So, we'll take a look at this video and we'll just leave them to it. Leave them to do whatever they want to do. I'm not going to be hurling abuse, defending them. I'm just simply taking a neutral path of looking at this and not giving any judgment about it. Anyway, let's look at the GitHub page. So. The diagnostic platforms on the web. How does Glimpse help? Oh, that is called Glimpse, but it's not the right one. <laughs> the Glimpse editor, of course. How silly of me. I simply googled Glimpse and GitHub and that was where I first ended up. So this is uh, the right one. So a downstream fork of the GNU image manipulation program 2.10. So it's actually out of date already. And anyway, what happens if there's vulnerabilities found in Gimp? Are they going to be patched in this one? Will they have the skills to patch it? Hmm. Interesting thoughts there. They're creating a new branding and then later releases. So they'll still be based on 2.10, but these will be provided with technical documentation, lesson plans, and long-term support period. And then 
then version two releases will utilize a new GUI that follows the GNOME human interface guidelines and our own Lina plugin framework. We do not have fixed timescales. Instead, we select a month we want to aim for, and if a release needs more time, then we will update our schedule accordingly. Fair enough. So what is wrong with the GIMP name? If English is not your first language, then you may not realize the word GIMP is problematic in some countries. It is considered a slur against disabled people and an adult insult directed at unpopular children. Is it actually, I've, I've never really heard it used in those contexts. Maybe. It can also be used to link certain after dark activities performed by consenting adults. Now that is where I have heard of the term. Hey, don't read too much into that. <laughs> so educational institutions and public libraries may feel unable to provide or recommend the program to students due to possible legal or moral concerns. It can be difficult for a teacher to keep a class of school aged children disciplined and focused if they're distracted by the name of a computer program they've been asked to use. Okay, fair enough, can't comment. Go and use Creta instead. And there's loads more about this and Realistically, I can't be bothered. Someone pointed out that their name is offensive, and I have to agree, actually, for someone who is uh, short-sighted, I, I, I can't catch a glimpse of anything. <sighs> yeah, that, that really affects me. <laughs> is it really that bad? If you, if you actually look at this term GIMP on a search engine, what do you think you end up with? And, and I turned safe search off. <laughs> Safe search strict, safe search off. Doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, and for a different search engine, well, look, if you look at the image searches for this, okay, we got some that are the uh, other term of GIMP that I'm aware of, but uh, yeah, I I'm not going to scroll down too far, actually. It's, it it's not that it's one of those uh, images from the top, but there is, uh... well, let's say someone's done a fine piece of work with. Um drawing the human body in all its details in GIMP. <laughs> Let's just say that, shall we? And that's why I'm not scrolling down any further. Um, I have got safe search off there uh, and I could filter the explicit results. But yeah, anyway, my point is, my point is that search engines do seem to be aware of a program called GIMP rather than any after dark activities. So I bet you want to see what this is like. So I've installed both Glimpse and GIMP as snaps. Doing a search for GIMP here has actually revealed both results. They've had to do some work on the path locations so it doesn't uh, interfere with GIMP. So you can actually run both side by side on your system. Anyway, that was the loading of GIMP. So let's go for Glimpse. Take a look at this splash screen for a nice and neutral. And here we are, the exact uh, same program. But let's see if you're going to help. We've got the user manual of GNU Imp. <laughs> we've got Glimpse Online. We've got About. Can we visit the Glimpse website? Yes, we can. So I think on the English speaking side, it does seem to be fairly well rebranded, but on the other languages, well, at least looking through the issues, there are still quite a few references to their predecessor. So anyway, that's it. In the words of the GIMP contributor, let's leave them alone, walk away, and not look at this again. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.